And we'll start with Dale Lolly. Go ahead, Dale. Hey, Juju, uh, can you guys look at this as kind of a, a silver lining situation that there was still the chance that you may not have had Deontay back last week, and now obviously he's, he's clear concussion protocol, so he won't miss the game. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's good on our end, obviously. Uh, you know, having Deontay out there, he makes splash plays, and that's something that he's always been doing. So, um, But e even when he was out, you know, we had guys who can fill in those spots, and uh, James Washington played X, and, you know, he got the job done and what we needed to get done and, and to, uh, to win our game. So um, we, we, we got guys who, who can play who are backups. All right, let's go to Brooke Pryor. Brooke, go ahead. Hey, Juju, I know it's been a little bit since you guys were on the field in the game, but after Deontay got hurt, Chase Claypool came in and, and played a bunch of uh, Deontay's snaps. How do you think he did just with that volume of work? And he said that he feels like he's even adapting to the playbook and the speed of the NFL game faster than he thought he would. Yeah, I mean, he, he adapted, you know, very well. I mean, it's, it's nothing that's nothing too crazy. Um, I, I think, honestly, what he's doing is nothing that we haven't seen before. Um, except that you guys have seen him play more. Uh, and he's always he's always been able to do that. So, um, you know, I'm happy for him, good for him. Will Graves. Juju, I'm sort of curious. Uh, you know, Ben sort of lamented the fact that uh, you guys kind of had to stop abruptly last week, obviously due to circumstances beyond your control. Did you feel like – did it feel like the rhythm got disrupted um, just by having an unexpected break? And, and what did you do this weekend that you, you know, as opposed to what you would do during a normal by week in a non year, a year that wasn't like this? Um, I, th I think a rhythm's still there. You know, I think it's nothing that we haven't lost. I think it's, it's too early in our, our early in our season, you know, for us, uh, you know, have an un uncalled for, you know, by week, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so the rhythm's still there. Um, as far as like what I did this past weekend, um, usually I do on normal weekends, just hang out, um, watch the games, play video games, chill, relax, get treatment. Uh, nothing too crazy. Joe Rudder. Yeah, Juju, uh, Ben used the term short end of the stick to describe the situation the Steelers were in. Do you feel that way? And it um, looks like, you know, more Titans players are testing positive and they may have had an illegal workout. Does that change your opinion on anything going on? Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's the Titans business and that's the NFL stuff. Um, as far as, you know, what we talk about is what Coach Tomlin brings to us um, as far as, you know, what the NFL is doing and stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I want everybody to be safe and, you know, just follow the NFL protocols to, you know, get these games going. Jeff Hathorn. Juju, along the lines of Joe's question, what concerns do you guys have about more schedule changes um, with potentially other COVID cases? Uh, I mean, my concern is more so, you know, having games pushed back into like February, March, and, you know, going into spring, you know, that's something that, you know, ideally for us, you know, whatever we may do, I mean, people talked about having a bubble or starting a bubble uh, for all 32 teams, but, um, Pretty much as of right now, you know, I, ideally is that, you know, you don't want to, I don't want to push these games back to what it is. But I mean, if, something, if that's something that we have to do, we have to do. But um, I think that the less, you know, conflict we had, I mean, the easier the season will be. Chris Adamski. Juju, you have the two longest touchdown receptions in Steelers history in your first two years. Um, this year, it seems like a lot of the routes you're running are, are close to the line of scrimmage, behind the line of scrimmage. You're, you're getting a lot of targets in that sense. Is Do you see yourself – I mean, is that – I would say, do you do you prefer one or the other? Do you like doing – showing your versatility? You can run anything on the route tree. Do you, do you like being um, the guy that gets the ball in his hands a lot and kind of make a play at the line of scrimmage? Or or do you like going deep? Or does that not matter to you? Uh, I mean, all that doesn't matter to me. Um, playing inside, outside, you know, whatever – the Steelers want to play me at, where they need help at, um, you know, just making plays when, when plays need to be made, you know, in, in crucial times like third down, fourth down, two-point conversion, uh, you know, blocking inside, you know, if, if, if it fits, you know, what they're looking for, then, you know, I'm just here to do my job. I, you know, I don't have a preference where it's outside or inside. Uh, as long as we're winning, right? <laughs> 